Minasan Konnichiwa, David. And Mina. And I am unboxing the MG1100 Hyakushiki. We're a little behind. But... Yeah, we are a little bit behind on our builds. Um, we've done, uh, we've even got a couple of unboxings we still have to do. Mm. But um, the new Hyakushiki just came out, so I thought I would unbox it. I'm probably going to put it together tonight because I've been waiting for this one for a long time. Mm. So, this is an update of a an older MG. Um, this is to put it in line with all of the more modern MG kits. And if the more recent um, remakes that I've seen, um, like the, for example, the Ale Strike and all of that are any indication, this should be a pretty good kit. So let's take a look see. First off, I love the gold in the picture. I'm going to find out what it looks like for realsies, mm. but the gold in the picture to me looks a lot like closer to a realistic color than the old Hyakushiki because there were there were two of them. Um, there was a dull matte one and then there was one that was like mirror finished. And I never really liked that mirror finish. It doesn't look it just doesn't look right to me. This looks more like the gun, the gold in the gold frame spray. Yes, yes. Um so yeah, there we go. And also, I'm kind of curious if this is cast in this color, injected in this color, or if it is plated. But I will find that out in a moment. It should be. I think it's injected in that color. But I'm going to find out. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's pretty. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. So start off with our A runner here. Okay, our A runner has a really nice gunmetal color going on here. Mm. Um, and then we've, of course, got our darker blue. Um, and then a whole bunch of clear pieces for our eyes. It looks like we have a number of different eye configurations. Um, I don't know what that means until I get to the stickers, but that's kind of cool. Maybe it has angry eyes and looking the other way. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, that's an SD. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine that a lot of this is actually um, also taken from the Delta Gundam. Um, oh, okay. Okay, so it is plated. Mm. Um, it is It is certainly plated. You can see it on the backs of these pieces. They're silver. Yeah, there's a, there's a, a faint silver. But that makes mm. sense because you would do a silver undercoat and then a plate color. Um, in order to make it good. However, unlike a lot of the older kits that are plated, which include some of them like the um, the Sinanju um, mm. titanium finished version, this has all of its runners um, connect on the back of the pieces. Oh, so you'll be able to trim that. those off. If you look really close here, um, those connect to the back of the, the, the panels. So whenever you trim those off, you're not going to see those ugly gate nubs that lack the plating. Um, so that's definitely a better finish than we are used to. It's going to be blingy. Yeah, it is. It is definitely going to be blingy. And I, I actually, I really like the way that it's plated mm -hmm. um, because you can, if you look really close, you can see the sort of the silver, the gunmetalish color underneath the aluminum. Um, and then it's got like this faint gold sheen. Really, really layered, really complex color. It looks like the AEUG. -E -E yeah. The guys put it together for Char Special. Like. Yes, this is a beautiful, beautiful kit. That's how it would turn out if you had a bunch of loyal guys paint your Gundam purple or gold for you. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is a pretty kit. And then here's our skirts. And our, our leg and arm panels. Oh, that's, that's pretty. You know, almost looks more like and a double. Head. Yeah. It almost looks more like a double O kit than an UC kit. Almost. I've always been a little bit let down with the the Hyakushiki kits that I've seen. Mm. Um, there's our beam sabers. Um, and I think that, I mean, I, I really love the Hyakushiki as a mobile suit. Mm. And I really like a lot of the things that have been done with it, like the Megashiki, for example, and the Delta, the Delta Kai, that sort of stuff. 
Um, so this is actually really refreshing for me to see. I really like it. And this is that, that darker gunmetal-ish color um, that we've seen quite a few uh, a bit of in recent kits. I like the color quite a bit. It basically does not need painting at all. Um, it definitely looks high quality. So, you know, my, my first year students, I was meeting with them very recently. Mm -hmm. And they were all very interested in the fact that I was interested in Gundam. <laughs> and so the teacher kept translating their questions as robots. <laughs> and I kept seeing the kids getting so frustrated because they were trying to explain mobile suits. Mobile suits. Mobile suits. Not, not robot. Yeah, they're not robots. <laughs> um, just a couple more frame parts here. And then here's our red. We only have a couple of red pieces, and they just, they are, oh, and there's our Quattro Bagina. <laughs> he looks great, and he's in red, so, you know. True that. form? Yeah, absolutely. He is three times faster. <laughs> You'll be able to build that part of the model three times faster than the rest. Yes. Okay. More frame pieces. These are, of course, um, symmetrical runners um, that handle our arms and legs and that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, nothing special. This just this looks just like any other modern MG kit. Um, that's not to say it's a negative in any way. Yeah. These are very good, but oh, that's interesting. The feet are um, actually symmetrical. The feet pieces are symmetrical, mm. which uh, means that you actually get two Quattro Baginas in <laughs> his sitting form and two in his standing form. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically begging for a diorama. <laughs> okay, and then just more frame pieces. So there's the basic kit. Let's take a look at what these stickers look like here. Decal stickers, both actually, it looks like. Oh yes, Plamo. <laughs> Someone was complaining about my pronunciation of um, Plamo. I said Plamo when I was in a store. Um, like, okay, it's actually Plamo. <laughs> so deal with it. All right. Oh, it does. It has multiple eyes. It has a diffused red eye, mm. and the normal red eye, and then an all black eye. Mm. And then we have our little green foil pieces. These are not, you know, the, they're, they're stickers. stickers. They work. Um, I do like the diffused eye. That's pretty cool. Different. And then we have our our decals here. We have dry rub decals and the sticker style decals. Actually, those are really nice and simple. Mm. They're not amazing, uh, but I do like them. And of course, it has the <laughs> um, the in English. yes in English. Um, the easiest thing to leave in. Uh, Japanese, but no, well, yeah, but the shoulder says Hyaku, right? That's true. That's true. But that's all that's really important, so long as it has that. Yeah. And it has the AUG um, seals on it. Yeah. Um, so these are what? These are like water. No, these are dry rubs. Okay, so there's that. Um, we have an ad for the premium Bandai Mega Bazooka. I don't know that I'm going to get this. I don't really like it. Um, no, it's just going to take up a lot of space. It, yeah, it'll take up a lot of space. I, I, I feel like it doesn't fit the Hyakushiki because the Hyakushiki is this like high mobility type suit. Um, and that, that is a big like, unwieldy thing. I totally thing. get him saying to hell with it and just yeah. having the biggest gun he can. But like that's, that's a, you don't start there. Yeah. And that's not how I want to display my Hyakushiki. Yeah. So, uh, and an ad for Gundam Online. Our registration card and our booklet. With a pretty picture. So, you know, the, the art of Gundam, the thing that was in Osaka is coming uh, to In Roppongi, Roppongi hi. Yeah, coming up soon. Um, yeah, I, I want to say July. Is that the sort of thing that people would want us to try to do videos at? Oh, yeah, the Art of... Oh, so, yeah, there's an Art of Gundam um, exhibit in Roppongi. Uh, and if people are interested, we may go up... Or down there, down there, it's southwest of us. Mm -hmm. um, down there and visit and get some video or some pictures or whatever we're allowed to do. A lot of times those things are really, like, anal about pictures. Yeah. But we'll see what we can do. So yeah, there we go. Um, we have our Hyakushiki in its MG1100 form. Uh, I'm going to try to put this together and see about getting caught up with our reviews. 
Matane, everyone. Matane.